Move over, Miracle on 34th Street. I'm trying to limit my intake of sugar. Sorry, It's a Wonderful Life. It's become a tradition among movie fans as common as eggnog and mistletoe. Every year, more and more people choose Die Hard as their favorite Christmas film. Is it really a holiday film? Wherever you fall on the spectrum with this debate, one thing is certain. Die Hard is certainly set during Christmas, with plenty of Christmas-related moments. Why stop there? Suddenly, a whole library of cinema classics opens up like the wallet of a post-ghost visit Ebenezer Scrooge, from Kubrick to a stocking full of Robert Downey Jr. Here, we'll take a look at 12 Christmas classics that aren't about Christmas. If you enjoy this video, please like it and share it with your friends, and subscribe to MovieWeb to keep up with the conversation about all the things we love. Die Hard. Let's start here, as the rightly revered action masterpiece tends to kick off this conversation every December. Die Hard, of course, takes place in an LA high-rise, under siege by a group of thieves masquerading as politically motivated terrorists, with only a single off-duty New York cop standing in their way. John McClane came to town hoping to reconcile with his estranged wife, never expecting her office Christmas party to be crashed by Hans Gruber and his pals. From the message he sends after defeating his first bad guy, to the song that plays over the closing credits. <laughs> Die Hard is packed with more subversive Christmas cheer than a fistful of mistletoe. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Die Hard 2, Die Harder. Come on, man, it's Christmas. In many ways, Die Hard 2, Die Harder was a retread of the original. Why does this keep happening to us? Switching the setting from a high-rise building to an airport. <laughs> In fairness, the Die Hard franchise had every right to rip off itself, as opposed to the copycat movies like Die Hard on a Bus, Die Hard on a Boat, Die Hard on a Navy Ship, Die Hard on a Train, and one of our favorites in movie web, Die Hard in a Hockey Rink. Like its predecessor, Die Hard 2 takes place on Christmas Eve, one of the roughest times to be stuck at an airport. Like a regular, normal Christmas. Lethal Weapon. Tell me, what day is it? Christmas. Die Hard gets all of the Christmas time action movie glory, but Lethal Weapon actually hit theaters the year before. Both films kicked off what became long-running and lucrative franchises. Lethal Weapon opens to the sounds of Jingle Bell Rock, staged a shootout in a Christmas tree lot, and ended with Danny Glover's character inviting his crazy partner, <laughs> played by Mel Gibson, to his family Christmas. I think your daughter kind of likes me. Trading Places. Merry Christmas. In a 2017 editorial, The Guardian noted that plenty of festive classics, quote, contain more than their fair share of murder, suicide, and doomed relationships, with trading places toward the top of the list of movies that combine merriment and mayhem. The mix of social commentary and comedy helped cement the movie stardom of Eddie Murphy. That man is a product of a poor environment. Released a year after the buddy cop comedy 48 Hours and a year before Beverly Hills Cop. Free slime ball! One of the movie's best sequences features Dan Aykroyd in a dirty Santa suit, stuffing assorted meats into his pockets and waving a gun around. Gremlins. There'd have been no reason to worry about bright light, water, or late night feedings if Billy's dad wasn't out Christmas shopping in the first place. All of the action in the brilliant horror comedy kicks off with Gizmo, a cute little mogwai Christmas present who inadvertently sends a whole town into Christmas time chaos. The Gremlins Christmas Eve reign of terror ends, naturally, in a department store. Rocky IV. It's killing you. I gotta stop this thing. The fourth installment of the underdog Pugilist franchise is best remembered for the death of Rocky rival turned BFF Apollo Creed and the introduction of titular villain Ivan Drago. Rocky IV was released over the holidays in 1985, and the Cold War climax, where Rocky faces Drago in the Soviet Union, takes place on Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, kid! Less than zero. There's certainly a snow pun to be made about Less Than Zero, the Brett Easton Ellis adaptation starring Andrew McCarthy and Jamie Gertz. I didn't expect to see you here. A movie that pit Robert Downey Jr. against James Spader more than 25 years before Avengers Age of Ultron. The troubled college-age kids of Less Than Zero come together during Christmas vacation, with plenty of Christmas parties on hand to tempt them onto the naughty list. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. After Robert Downey Jr.'s real-life troubles threatened to completely derail his career, his star went back on the rise thanks to the dark comedy Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, written and directed by Shane Black. Did we mention he wrote Lethal Weapon? The Nice Guys 
Shane Black loves Christmas. Like Lethal Weapon and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, The Nice Guys is another buddy cop type action movie set at Christmas time. This one's starring Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe. In a 2016 interview with EW, the celebrated filmmaker recalled the first time he noticed Christmas as a backdrop was in Three Days of the Condor, the 1975 Robert Redford spy drama directed by Sidney Pollack. Iron Man 3. To quote another Marvel Comics hero, Sweet Christmas. Shane Black and Robert Downey Jr. certainly love an unconventional Christmas. Struggling with PTSD after the Battle of New York depicted in The Avengers, Tony Stark is in contemplation mode in Iron Man 3, like many of us during the seasonal Yuletide slowdown. There's even a great scene in Tony's lab where he tinkers to the sounds of jingle bells. Batman Returns. Why should the Marvel Universe have all of the fun? 20 years earlier, Gotham City's Cape Crusader got in on the Christmas time comic book movie action in Batman Returns, the second and last of the Batman movies from the dynamic duo of Michael Keaton and director Tim Burton. Batman Returns is filled with Christmas trees, Christmas presents, big and small, and some sexy Bat-Cat mistletoe action. Eyes Wide Shut. Did we say sexy action? Stanley Kubrick's final film is filled with sexual tension, sexual innuendo, and of course, actual sex. It's also filled with holiday lights, lots of them. Kubrick's obsession with lighting is well documented, from the candlelight of Barry Lyndon to the big bright lights that burn down the shining sets. Furthermore, Eyes Wide Shut starts at a Christmas party and finishes in a toy store. We hope you enjoyed this look at 12 Christmas classics that aren't about Christmas. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to MovieWeb to keep up with the conversation about all of the things we love.